Today, we'll be taking a look at a software called Outline. It is a team knowledge base, and it is used by many individuals, mainly where I found it by Amir, who is the CEO of Duest. They use it as their documentation, and today I wanted to overview everything you need to know about it. So before we begin, if you want to check out more reviews and insights, jump over to toolfinder.co. You'll explore loads there, and you can subscribe to this channel for more reviews. So here we are with Outline, and the best place to start with these sort of apps is the pricing. Now, obviously, there is a few different pricing, but something we don't typically see as part of normal SaaS pricing is self-management. And this means that you can manage on a own your own infrastructure, meaning, for example, you can use pretty much all of the features, but some of the other abilities are locked. Now, that is $4 per user per month and is billed annually, and they have an enterprise plan too. There is another cloud option as well. So for example, you can have up to uh, 100 team members for $79 a month, which is fairly reasonable as well. And that is synced via the cloud. So obviously they're controlling the data, which is naturally what most companies do. So you can access a $10 per month, which gives you up to 10 team members to use it. And that this includes things like real-time collaboration, which we'll demonstrate in a moment. So this right here is uh, Outline, and it looks very much like many of the other document applications, fairly simple in nature, and I think that's what it's going for. It does have real-time editing, which means you and your team can collaborate in real time. And here's the document that I made earlier. Now, very simply, there's a few things to note on here. I can make a document and make it stand out like any other document, it comes with Markdown. And I can add images, videos, file attachments, dividers, and all the regular stuff you'd expect, as well as some other additional abilities like Infonosis, Success, and more. There's a bunch of integrations as well, so you can connect with a wide variety of service to embed stuff. They even have a mermaid diagram as well as an additional, more deeply integrated feature. Now, there are a few different collaboration abilities like commenting, and commenting allows you to leave notes, and you can even leave notes with images too if you prefer to attach a screenshot. You can also see ones that are resolved, meaning you can tick things off and see the resolved comments here in case you need to come back to it. Now, each of the documents have a contents which are flagged by the headings. You can star stuff, and you can even share it to the web too if you want to share it beyond just your team. Now, in terms of team organization, there are a few abilities like a collection feature, which allows you to give permission to certain features uh, certain pages to certain team members. But this collection area can be managed a little bit further in terms of what actually shows up in the description, and you can add documents over to each collection as well. So if you want, you can pop open new documents and pop them in here, which is really helpful, which is a great way to get started. Now, this application does have uh, unlimited documents, which means that if you're using it to get access to pretty much everything, that's a good starting point. Now, you've also got version history, commenting, and they have a fairly new AI question answering feature. So you can get um, answers from questions. Uh, I'm yet to actually find that feature inside of the account. Maybe it's not activated on my account or is a fairly new feature. And up here, you can access your workspace. Now, you can modify a few different things like logo, name, themes, and much more, as well as features. So here is the AI feature. I didn't have it switched on. If I'd switch on, it obviously uses OpenAI's integration to set things up. And for teams, there are a few different things here, like templates. If you're worried that your team wanted a specific template to use, then you can use it pretty much like a document. This one could be a meeting agenda, and you could quickly organize what that looks like in terms of the structure of the account. You can also have groups, which could be your departments, and you can modify it, what preferences you'd like to see as well as part of your own experience. Now, one thing that I haven't yet tried is that new AI feature. Let's see if we can get it working. So here we are. You just search for the answer inside of your account, and this is where you find the AI experience. Obviously, I haven't got much context to my account. I searched, what is Bob's next task? And it didn't come up with one. It is in there. So maybe it just needs more context and more reach to be able to find it. 
So other such abilities that might be helpful for you and your team are that you can unsubscribe from stuff. There is a way to manage insights, which gives you basically a breakdown of what's used in and uh, every document. You can download stuff via HTML, PDF, and Markdown, and you can use full width, which means you're taking more advantage of the real estate of the page. Now down in the left corner, there's a bunch of keyboard shortcuts, and it's very easy to use to get uh, started with that account. So you're probably wondering, what are the pros of Outline and what are the cons? Now, very simply, Outline is a simple experience. It has collections, your documents in one, and it won't go overboard. The pricing is also really reasonable if you're just looking for team management. And if you store it on your own self-storage, it actually presents itself as almost a free application. Now, it has a pretty good pricing, mainly because you're not charged per person, you're charged per window of people that you have in your team, which is incredibly helpful. This is something that's gonna be super basic and won't go maybe far reaching in terms of what it can do in terms of databases and other such abilities, but it will give you and your team a handbook style approach to your work. The cons are obviously that it doesn't go too far and it is very, very simplistic. I could see many people looking at this and comparing it to Google Documents. Google Documents isn't too dissimilar to this, but it does have more of a handbook type feel and I feel more approachable ways to share stuff with your team, as well as use templates and other such things like that. So it's well worth a consideration if you're looking for a low cost team knowledge management system. And this today was an outline review. So thank you very much for solving today and I look forward to helping you find the best tools for you and your team. Do make sure to go over to toolfinder.co to explore more.